Hello, everybody! It's me! I'm back! Yeah, no, it's me, boys and girls, and that weird rainbow in between that I prefer not to talk about, because at that point, my stream's gonna get taken down, and I'm gonna get banned on Twitch. So, you know. Also, I just realized the text still says talking stream back from when I, uh, did my little update and my slight pause. So let's just there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> Here, I'll stand stream. This is no wait. I'd be a liar. This, this is all about bucket. This stream's all about bucket. Yeah. This is a stream about bucket. We all we're all here for bucket. Everyone knows this. We're here for the bucket and nothing else. Only bucket matters. Bucket lives matter. Bucket lives matter, chat. Come on. <laughs> Phil Swift is a monster who stabs and murders buckets for no good reason. He's a monster. An all-powerful monster, yes, but still a monster. There's no difference there. Anyways, we're back for the Stanley Purbable. Purgaburbadabur. Ultra Doolugadu. So yeah, we're back for Stan. This is this is the Stanley bucket stream. Uh yeah, last time we went through the first ending and the corrupted ending because why not? And this time also we're going to be doing more stuff. Yes. I don't know what kind of stuff because as I've said before, most of this is new to me. I know the original game, I don't know the ultra deluxe game. It's just how it works. Everyone knows this. It's it, it's pretty pretty standard stuff. What do you want me to say? Anyways, we'll be switching over now in just a second. And a boop. And here it comes. There we go. All right. Yes. Now, I don't really have much to say. So that that's it. That that's that's all that means. I just don't have much to say. What can I say? Exactly. So let me move the tab over here. I already, I already did this before. Why do I? It's like 8:30. I'm doxing my time zone, but who cares? It's like 8:30. Hang on, hang on. 
before we get started, can I just say something? Yeah, sure. Thank you for act. Was, thank you for s actually setting the clock both times you booted up to get. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. How'd you know? <laughs> a lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at like twelve and call it a day. <laughs> Damn you, me, for being fucking punctual. For actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. You're welcome. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. Thank you. I don't even have any way of it. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Oh. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock by your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. <laughs> All right, I'll just get back to the video game for now. <laughs> Why? Thank you, random text. You see that, guys? Being nice in video games has its benefits. Anyways, let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into today. This is the story of a man named Stampy. No, this is a story about Bucket. So shut up, narrator. All of his co-workers were gone. gone. What, what could it mean? mean? Stanley, Stanley decided, decided to, to go, go to the, the meeting room. room. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. There we go. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Yeah, that's right. Stanley Let's go, bucket. The bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place. We're, to we're be. speeding through this because we've heard all of this and before. Here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Actually, no. Was we haven't. Better than the meeting room. We haven't yes, actually, you know. Himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. We haven't heard this How bit. insightful the bucket turned out to be. Is there any more the narrator's gonna say? I'll, I'll give it a second. Just stare at the clock and wait. Also, that's not the time I set. Truly, being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. Oh, First, man. walking through the door on the right. Then oh. walking to the lounge, then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. Yeah, the bucket's a true friend. The bucket is my only friend. Perhaps this was where the bucket oh. felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. Oh man. Sorry, Bucket, but we gotta go. I'm, I'm not gonna stick around much longer for this. Finally, the Bucket was done being in the lounge, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. I'm pretty sure we went down there, I think? Yeah, we did. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, let's just go. No, said the Bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yeah, good, said the Bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the t Excuse me, I happen to be getting a phone call. I'll be back in just a second.
and I'm back. Sorry about that, that was my mother. So happens she's out of town doing who knows what for who knows what reason. So, you know. Yeah. Can't really ignore her, because then she'll just get really mad at me. And since I'm living under her house, that means that my life would be a very much living hell, and I prefer not to deal with that, thank you. Oh, there's something Anyways. up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this Bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because Buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was two, firmly convinced one. that the Bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the Bucket asked. Down we go. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Oh. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to uh, bring the bucket here? Uh, Unless, uh, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? Wait, don't. I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Uh. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness. I think we have to do something about it. Oh, this okay. misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game oh, God, if I'm sorry. quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, a game show! Well, then. I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Yeah, I got okay, this. let's begin. Item one. Is this a bucket? Oh, yeah. Incorrect. What? It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Oh, you bitch. Item two, is this a bucket? Okay, I can't get off, so I'm just gonna answer yes again. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Okay, you're a bitch. Item three, is this a bucket? Oh, let me guess, it's gonna be made of fucking styrofoam or something, huh? Correct. This oh. is a bucket. Oh, hey, look at that. Item four. Oh. Is this a bucket? Now you know. I know that this is, in fact, not a bucket. But I have to know what they are going to say if I say yes. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous <laughs> machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That can hold a lot of fluid. Is this a bucket? Oh well, yeah, of course. I just I just said this. Correct. This is a bucket. Oh. Well, ha. Item six. Is this a bucket? Seems like it. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Wait, what? <laughs> How? How? Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll wait. I'll just turn around and act like I don't know what's going on. Okay, you and I both know there <coughs> isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Yes. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. 
What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Oh. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. Oh. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But, but no, I, I like... I to erase all buckets from the game entirely. What? No! Okay. Here we go. Oh, my bucket! What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what. I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Okay. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But yes. if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. No. Who knows what that information might do to a person? I don't care. All right, here we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The good old bucket. The good old Just bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley you know what? touched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered Bucket, let's go again. subjugate the human race. Let's prove that you're the superior. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Let's Perhaps go, Bucket, let's go. Wait, I forgot this downstairs. Stanley and the bucket I forgot there was a downstairs. To the boss's office. I forgot there was a downstairs here. Oh my god, the collectibles. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Well, thank you, I guess. I still don't understand why this game needs collectibles, but whatever. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close. He had felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. <laughs> and that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's no. just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. No. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. No. Surely no Wait. good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. No. And indeed. Now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now all... he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh no. Oh gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. <gasps> Stanley! Stanley, bucket. it's me! The bucket! Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. Oh. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. Wait. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket what? No. was inside of him all along was incredibly painful. <laughs> Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. 
Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. She's so right. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. Hell yeah. She backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> Good on her, being able to do that many backflips in a row. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, they're actually figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfect. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. So let's see, the figurine collectors are apparently... Whoa. Trust the completionist instinct. We need more planks. <laughs> Warehouse access plan. Plan one. Produce one plank to allow ease of access to pass fence. Construct bridge to allow access to any float. Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. Okay. Mission status. Insta is sequel exhibit. A large room, lots of boxes. Stairs, something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. Nearby a fireplace. A private but smelly place for an important person. Oh, I know exactly how to get there. Five more. Five there be, just take it from me. Gotta collect them all. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Lol, looks like 427. Haha. <laughs> there will be a reward for finding them all. Lies! Who are you, 666 lol? There will be cleaning of this wall required. Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go home. <laughs> God, these guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> anyway, subjugating the human race time with my bucket. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked up. I bet you guys can't do this with office. your buckets, can you? Everyone's government ordinance bucket. Everyone knows we all have one. Hold on, can I just walk into the bathroom? Oh, I can. Look at that. Oh. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or what about Stanlerines? Yes, mm. I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Kind of a weird name, but I'll take it. Stepping into his manager's okay, I office, think Stanley I was remember once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of but Stanley, there we go, got it. By sheer luck, was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Me and my bucket subjugating the human race. Here we go, baby. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, narrator. You know how to keep it real. 
Anyways. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind, Mind control, control Facility. That I do. And press button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley Two, nearly dropped the bucket in shock. 427, there Everyone I am. Everyone in the office was being videotaped. Yeah, there it is. Monitored like guinea pigs. I see my office, guys. I see my office. And it very Where's your office? Tears, as Stanley you guys see your offices? Reassuring it that everything would be fine. What's your employee number, guys? Come on. Everyone knows employee Was number one doesn't exist. Was the mind control facilities influence as well? That guy's a Had myth. the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Yeah, that's because Stanley's a fucking dumbass. Everyone no! Knows this. He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. You know what the bucket's telling me, narrator? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. I'm sorry, narrator, but that's not what the bucket's telling me. I believe it's time to subjugate the human For race! Peace. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust, when suddenly, an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Seagulls! Silly, silly birds. Oh, the birds. control buttons became active again. Let's go like back here. Oh, okay. Silly birds, uh, let's see. Hey, flamingos! I don't know that one. Stanley flipped through one video hey, of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade hey, look, to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Yeah, there are worse of ways to go. All the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Birds. All right, now we all were in, we all know where all this needs to go. So gone. let's go ahead and what just. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. A good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. There he is. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. We're going on a trip to see a bucket thing. Cause I don't know what it's actually gonna be. Because for some reason, everything is different stairs, only when Stanley I'm holding the bucket. The bucket. Upstairs to the bosses Why office. is it only when I'm holding the bucket? Who knows? I don't. I don't. I don't act like I know these things. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? 
Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. That it is. And I don't really know how to commentate over this because it's it's a mostly uh, bucket-filled stream. I don't have any bucket story. Oh, the I don't know. Talk in the elevator. Narrator, what the fuck, man? I thought you were gonna, you know, give me a little bit. Of Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." Although this passageway had the word "Escape" written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. Ah, screw you. I don't trust you. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. So what if we do? Shut up, narrator. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Meh. Yep, come on, show me the truth. This one's actually more or less the same. Just with added bucket. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, narrator. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end. As it was crushed violently no, to death. Oh, bucket! And here we are, not dead. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. <laughs> the bucket. <laughs> Welcome you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge, much like a bucket itself. The human mind is frequently empty within, a ca cavernous void. But through use of this exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. <laughs> so much truth in those words. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the wait, wait. hubris that blinded him? I didn't notice she actually took my bucket. bucket is oh my god. Far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life. Hey, fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. Inferno bucket. Replica of the Inferno bucket, which is in the middle of the area. so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Eh, neat. <laughs> I was gonna start going unga bunga, but no, they're doing it for me. I, th I think I get the message from no the pictures. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Haha. -ha. It's my bucket. Screw you, lady. But there is something we can do. Oh, there is. Something we can do together, you and I, that oh. will right this terrible wrong. Okay. Oh. Let Stanley die. Let what? him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset what? the game. What? Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful what? bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Okay, but do I let the bucket become God? If I die, the bucket becomes God. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know if I want that to go to fruition. 
I have no one else to, you know, talk this out with. So I'm gonna think this out for a second. And no. <laughs> Thinking's for squares. <laughs> oh, hey, bucket. We're just skipping right along. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. It's a weathered companionship that stands the test of Hold time. Hold on, wait, wait. It's getting shorter. The game's getting shorter. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to what, his what chest. What endings am I missing? Um, the door on his left. Subjugated humanity escaped. Uh, went downstairs. Corrupt ending. Phone. Door. Uh, death. I haven't killed myself. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee you know, was simply the place. The context of that is missing, and but I was, feel like missing the, the context makes it well, funnier. No, never mind. The bucket was Just wrong. going off a list in my head, and my my immediate thought is, "Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't killed myself yet." <laughs> no, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, mm. go there. Go to the cargo oh, lift. Oh, hello. It's here. Okay, those guys were those guys were telling the truth. There is an actual thing here. Okay. Let's take a look. Hey, look at that. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? I like what Figlies. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. I like figlies, though. That, that sounds funnier, in my opinion. I just like figlies. Okay, then, back through here. Whoa. Oh, this is new. Okay, then. Where am I? Bunch of tapes. Dialogue. Narrator dialogue. Okay, they're all narrator dialogues. Alright then. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. Longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. Uh. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there?
game theorist gonna have a fucking field day with this one, huh? I mean, honestly. Someone was following Stanley. He was what? sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch what? it. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> Narrator, what? Okay, sorry. I got distracted. Someone was texting me about my dog. I had to make sure she hadn't gotten out. But no, she's just over at the neighbor's house right now. She hangs out there with the other dog that the neighbor has. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, da, 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 but Stanley da, da, da. had felt the bucket calling to him, da, 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 telling him that the employee lounge da, 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 was simply the place da, 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 to be. Da, 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 and here it was. Da, 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 had the bucket da, da, da. turned out to be correct? Was it? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Gonna get a good the jump off of this yes. one. Go there. High dive go to time, the cargo baby. Lift. Yeah. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death. That they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. All right. Now, someone was following Stanley. He was stop sure of it. saying he that. Over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Why does he still say that? I don't like that. Why? Narrator, why? Why must you scare me like this? Why isn't it a... Hey look, there's a balloon sitting in one of the chairs. I like that. It's kind of funny. It's not doing anything. It's weird. I forget what the easter egg is with that computer, but whatever. Uh, the narrator keeps telling me that someone's Not following me. Is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky. I indeed. think I know what I must do, chat. It's, it, it's blasphemous, but I have this to do it. The correct way to the it has room. to end. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. It has to end. And here it was. The, the bucket, bucket must end. I must no. kill the Never bucket. Mind. It's taken my life from me. On his left to go back, and so the two of them it must through go. the next section and walk straight ahead to the. The bucket must go. Also, hello to the new member in chat. I, I, nice to see that I'm actually getting people to watch oh, me. Thank you very much. Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Yeah, welcome to my intervention. Uh, you see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Do I don't know why I'm still letting the narrator talk. I, 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 I don't think there's a way to skip his stuff. They said they added a skip button, but I think that was just a one-time thing. It, it's whatever. I'll just, I'll, I'll keep letting him talk for now, and I'll just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the bucket. The bucket has to die. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the. Fa I'm sorry. Was that? Is that a bot? Okay, now good. Thank you. 
I that actually got me. You actually got me to pause the game, tab over, and make sure there wasn't a bot. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> And I'm I'm real I'm really mad about that now. You got me. <laughs> you got me to tab off, pause the game, and come make sure a bot wasn't trying to get me to buy followers. <laughs> yeah, virtual high five. Good job, guys. You did it. Good job. You got you got me. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> I got got. I got got, boys and girls, I got got. The people, th when I put this on YouTube as a VOD, people aren't gonna know what I'm talking about, but just know, they fucking got me. <laughs> they got me. Hands want, let's do it! Whee! <laughs> they they got me line. good, too. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. God damn it. <laughs> oh... Okay, I, I see how this is. Okay, I see. You're going around pranking different streamers. I have seven subscribers! What do you expect from me? What do you want? Content? Is that what this is about? You get nothing from me! Look at me! I'm so small! How does that make you feel? Huh? Answer me that! How does it feel picking on the little guy, huh? Oh, 32, Mr. Big Numbers over here, huh? Fuck you, big shot. What the fuck? Yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah, to specify, because me down here in the low, below 10's number. We don't get that kind of treatment, do we? No. No, we... We have to be told that it's followers. No, I, I, I guess you meant 32 inches. Okay, that guy's got six. You're on my level. I'm okay with you. But that guy! That guy right there? Nah, fuck you! Well, Mr. Cocksucker over there, huh? Yeah, that's right. I can say cock on my streams. What do you got? <laughs> oh, you're female. Uh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you for being a female! <laughs> You get it easy. You get easy mode. I gotta be actually funny. I actually have to be funny for my streams. Eh? You just get to flaunt your bazongas everywhere and get just free content. What do I have? What do I have? I got this little helicopter on my crotch. What the fuck do you want? I, I don't know where this is going. But I mean, it's good content for me. Uh, no, yeah. Anyways, do go going back to this, so I don't start uh getting to the point where I could get very much so banned for being anti-Semitic. I guess I don't know. I don't know the right phrases, but yeah, <laughs> if I keep screaming at this this girl for no good reason, I'm gonna end up <laughs> getting fucking banned. So nine followers would be nice, but I'm not gonna take handouts. You actually have to enjoy my stuff to follow me. Thank you very much. Also, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I, I took it a bit overboard, but it was funny on my part. I, I'm I'm over here laughing, so yeah. I want nine followers, yes, but I want to earn them, not to get them handed out to me. If you're doing this out of pity, that's no good. I w I want to earn it. I'm a big boy. I I have a job. I have a car. I I, I pay taxes. Which is depressing, but I'm, I'm, I don't, yeah, that's what I thought, okay, yeah. I gotta earn them! I gotta earn my subscribers, unlike fucking women! <laughs> god, oh god, no, why, why do I keep, why do I keep jumping back to saying fuck women? God damn it, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, look what you've done to me! Look what I've become because of you! Your pranks did this! I don't care, subs, followers, they're basically the same thing. Just, just, just skip the semantics, who cares? <laughs> yes, they are. They mean the same thing. Sure, it's on different sites. On YouTube, it's subscribers, and on Twitch, it's followers. But they're basically the same thing at that point. Who cares? Who cares? Yes, on Twitch, subs are people who pay to subscribe to you. But that's just that's just YouTube premium basically. Who cares? 
Okay, you can care all you want. I don't. So yeah, it's the same thing to me. You can pay to subscribe to my stream, yes, that is different than YouTube's version of subscribing. But subscribing and following on YouTube and Twitch are the same thing, and you can't prove me wrong on that. So yeah. Little Miss Big Numbers over here getting all caught up in the semantics. Remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I'm getting rid of the parasite. I think it'll make a wonderful new... Oh, I'm sorry, lag? Oh, excuse me and my not fancy setup. If you experience lag, I'm sorry. I really am. There's nothing else I can do about it. Look, it, I, I, I'm, I'm still in the green light over here on OBS, so honestly, I feel like it's just on your part at this point. Because I'm doing fine. Oh, I sound like Peter from Family Guy. I am not kidding when I say this. I hear every time I speak online that I sound like a different white guy. I have heard Jay Schlatt. I have heard Swagger Souls. For Swagger Souls, I have to be really tired. That that's the only context you're getting for that one. I've heard Raccoon Eggs. I've I've heard I've heard all of them. You can call me whoever you want. I probably sound like that white guy. So yeah. I agree with you. I sound like Peter Griffin from Family Guy. <laughs> that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Addition to the witch lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Is it? Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket... It's not letting me give it the bucket. This seems kind of unfair. ...destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely low- Am I okay? Not a lot of the time, no. <laughs> Thank you for asking. My mental health is very important to me. It's very good to know that there are random people on the internet who care if I'm okay. I'm kidding. I don't care about your opinions most of the time. I say most of the time because, yes, I do rant a lot, and that does lead to a lot of screaming on my part. But I... I oh, wait, no, this is in relation to the whole white guy thing, isn't it? It is. I, I can tell. Uh, yeah, no. Like I said, I've heard it. It's fine. It's just that I got caught up in the moment, and I just started screaming a lot. It's just what happens, you know? I get caught in the moment and I just start screaming. So just know, yes, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Rude? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I know. It's so bad. You came on my stream expecting me to cater to you. I'm sorry. Well, I, I, I should I should have thought better of myself. Yeah, no. And I get that there's a tiny bit of lag going on between me and the chat. But just know that when you said rude, I was apologizing. So I'm taking it from that moment. So yeah. Anyways, back to with complexity to kill and the nuance, bucket. that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise the fans will be coming. Stop being sarc that's half of my personality, thank you. Half of my personality is being sarcastic and just all around loud and just very flamboyant about everything. So, excuse me. This is just my tone of voice. What do you want from me? 
You want me to talk like a different person, huh? You want me to start talking like this? Would this be better for you, madame? Would you like this? A little bit of more regal tune? Would you like me to not sound like the person I am and instead cater specifically to you? No, I'm sorry. Bring four after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... Okay, so as it turns out, I cannot kill the bucket. It is a deity and it is untouchable. We've, we've already seen this in the last stream. You two weren't here for the last stream, so you don't know this, and you don't get to hear about the death of... Okay, now I sound like Markiplier. Yeah, okay, there it is. There it is. There's the one. Yeah, why didn't Why didn't I expect that one? Oh, maybe because, you know, I just said I sound like every white guy under the face of the sun. I understand, thank you. I understand. I do. I know these things now. Thank you. Oh, you can't breathe. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll try and tone down the comedic timing and such of this. But as it would happen, this is just how I act most of the time when I'm alone and have no filter between myself and other people. You people are on the internet. I can't look you eye in eye and think to myself, huh, I should really censor my ideas here. No, I can't do that. I have to do that real hard mentally. You, you get stuck with this lack of filter and loud voice and just all-around insanity. That's what you're stuck with with me. Oh, wait, yeah, I said I was skipping this because, uh... I'm sorry, you're too funny? Oh, I'm too funny. That, that's actually very nice. Thank you. I don't try, but it happens, so thank you very much. That, that was actually very nice. And, uh, again, stop, stop, trying, to, ju stop trying to jerk the shaft, all right? Look, I get it. I get that's why I'm here. Because people in my friend groups find me funny. I get it. I get it. You don't have to tell me I did this because I thought people would enjoy me. You don't have to tell me I'm funny if I know that I'm being funny. I think I get it. That's the whole point of the loud sarcasm. My face is turning red and I can feel it. Oh, I have to breathe. Give me a second. <laughs> uh, I, get, I get too far into bits, and I just end up getting way more intense than I should. So excuse me for that, but it's just what happens with me. I, I've started having to put bottles of water next to me just preemptively, because I know this kind of stuff's going to happen. Just in case. Because every so often I do get people in my chat, but as it would turn out... That's a bad idea for me, because I just keep getting louder, and my face keeps getting more red. Guess what? Oh, let me guess. Chicken butt? Is that the one? Is that is it that classic joke? Or are you going to tell me that you're lying, and that I'm not funny, and you're going to make me feel bad? Is that what you're going to do? You're going to make me feel bad? Are you going to try and make a man feel bad? Are you, are you going to... Do you want to see a grown man cry? Is that what you want? You want to see a grown man cry? I'll do it. You can't stop me. I'm already crying because I'm jumping to conclusions. That's your fault. And I'm 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 I, I'm stopping myself from crying. I I am stopping it. I'm just refusing to cry now. <laughs> anyway, what what's the joke you're gonna lay on me? Come on. I read the first three words. The first three words, and I, I, I've, I've lost, I've lost, I've lost, I've, I, I've lost. God damn it, I've lost. I lost. Oh, good. So it's the second guy said it too. Oh, how nice. Uh, just, just so you people in the YouTube vod know, what their uh. What they're referring to is an internet classic. As, as I said in the previous stream, I'm a memeologer, and I happen to have a 
PDHD and memology. Uh, this is what one would call a Rick Roll. That's right, I got Rick Rolled. Yeah, everyone knows this one. It's, it's a pretty classic meme. A more refined era of memeage, if I will. And uh, if you excuse me, I'm now going to act like I didn't see that and continue on like nothing happened. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. I'm just going to walk past the bucket because I, I am actually going to go for these collectibles now because I know where one of them is Stanley based on what the board said. Stanley two open door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded. Butterflies in his stomach. Oh, wait, Giddy in a way he had oh, never known new. before. Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? I mean, truly, truly, deeply, madly, love. I do not promote sexual activities with coffee tables or coffee rooms. So please do not think as such as I now exit this room in a confused and also very just weirded out just way because I, I am. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I'm ignoring you now. Stanley was I'm so bad you. at following directions I just, that's I incredible refuse. he wasn't five years ago. I just refuse. What happens if I go down here without the bucket? Because that, that, that was all reliant on the bucket last time. I'm going to come back and get the uh, stuff, but I want to see Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to so far off the beaten path I've turned him off he's dead I've killed you him. didn't think I was actually just uh. recording did you what a silly and trite explanation that would be all the back and forth between you and me all the absurd adventures we've been through and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording it was all just in Stanley's head I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Why are you screaming at Stanley in the chat? That... I know he made the narrator when feel Stanley bad, but you came don't to need a to set scream of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Because Stanley is Stanley. Stanley. Okay, I that's fair. We've gotten off on it, the wrong. F it's fair. If you scream at a man saying his name, and he doesn't react to his own name, that's probably not Stanley. So, you know, good job. You got him. Foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. What? Really? I was in the middle of no, something. Do you I already, I already did the fall damage route, thank you. I've already done it in the original game, and I don't feel like rehashing old bits. Zero I'm only here to see what happens if I get all of the collectibles. I know it's pointless, but I'm doing it anyways. And for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. 
Let me prove that I'm on your side. There it is. Give me a chance. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. Nah, the narrator we'll said I don't get anything. Don't you different lie to me. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Don't lie to me. The narrator already told me there's no prize for getting all Now listen all carefully. These. Anyways, I'm gonna begin the game again because I'm pretty sure it carries over. I don't know. I don't think I have to get an ending for it. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Yeah, you have to collect more than six. Okay, uh, alright, that's fine, I guess. Just a matter of time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I forgot what the board said about it. Yes, I did I did the clicking on the door one in the beginning. That, that was the whole opening bit, thank you. Nearby a fireplace. The only fireplace I know of is in the boss's office and in the corrupt ending. Could be in one of those. Because it wasn't in the fireplace during the whole... Coming to a staircase, well, okay. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. To be fair, I didn't do this ending during the original run-through, so that would... Well, not, I, I did this the original way, but not the new way. So, whatever. Stepping into his manager's office, uh, yes, Stanley beep, was once beep, again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. Ah, shut up, so narrator. he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. <sighs> Feeling soothed? And rejuvenated, Stanley it really is bad walked music. forward Thank you for into agreeing. the opened passageway. All right, it's gonna be right around here then, right? Because it said fireplace. I guess it could be the corrupted ending. That would make sense, I guess. Begin the game again. But it's not there. Someone was following Stanley. Stop was saying that. I really don't like it. <laughs> now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. God, I, I don't like it when he says that because it actually gets me bothered. Hey. Hey, don't you shit on the music that goes... Don't you shit on the adventure line. Just for that, we're going to the adventure line. How about that? We're going to the adventure line now because of you. I've decided. We're going, we're going to hang out with the adventure line. All because of you. We're going for the music. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it was. The lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. We're going to hang out with the adventure line now, because of the music. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Don't you yay But Stanley me. didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's um left. Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? All right. Uh, while he's listening, to, he, while he's ruffling through papers, we'll just put on the uh, we'll put on the music I put at the beginning and uh, when I pause this stream sometimes. Now, let's see. We went down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, okay.
Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. Alright, he got it. We're good. We can turn off the lo-fi jams. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, yeah, it suppose does we don't to be wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay, from the top. Yeah, mind control facility. Let's go. Oh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Lord, completely stop. fresh. stop. It, it only scares me when he says it. When other people in chat say it, it is nothing to me. It's more worrying when a narrator who sees all and knows all tells you, Oh yeah, there's someone following you, by the way. Just me, this voice in the back of your head that tells you everything that's going on. Someone's following you. Maybe if you look around you, you'll be able to find them. No, that it, it's not as scary when you say it. That's the thing. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. You're staring into nothing. You see nothing. You act as if you know the way, but you know nothing, you simple fool. You might see a soul, but there's not much going on in there. I'm very tired all the time, and there's not much to say about it. What you're looking at is someone who's really tired all the time, and just really just wants to take a nap most of the time. I'm like a human cat. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can uh, promise you. Not you. you to stop bitching, narrator. There's a story here before. Okay, now that that that's just hurtful. Knock off Markiplier. That's just hurtful. I'll have you know, I post original and funny content. All right. I'm, <laughs> I'm original. No one's played these games before. You can't prove it. Name seven. I dare you. Name seven who have played the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe the exact way I have. Th that's right, you can't. You, you can't. Th nothing I've done has been done before. You can't prove it. Shush. No. Sh uh, stop typing. I know you are. Don't. No. 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 Fuck. Fuck. I, I've been got. <laughs> I've been got. He your mommed me. He your mommed me. Fuck. Ah, I've been got. Damn it. Every time. Do we just? Do we need to restart the Every game time. Again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting. I over think I'm over safe, again. and the next it's thing you know, he hit me with the your okay, mom. Let's give it a shot. Why not? Damn it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. You know, I bet it's because of you two the that there are no doors anymore. back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Not gonna quote on it because that's only Aha! gonna fuel you. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. 
I'm not gonna fuel you. Emotional no, damage! Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place Yeah, I know that one. Is this the story? I'm a memeologist, thank so. you. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? What do you know what? I'm a memeologist. I know how to avoid you now. We I've learned. Doing, how I've about studied. This? You win. Congratulations. You see that? I win. I win. You get nothing. I win. I win. You might have not asked, but guess what? I am the one who does not care. That's right. I'm the one who does not care. See what you can do about it. Make me care. I dare you. I'm calling your bluff. Um, yeah, that's right. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some pe Exactly, you can't. You can't do it. You can't make me care. That's how. You come onto my stream, and you say I didn't ask, you don't get to ask. I'm the one. I'm the one who asks. I'm the one who doesn't care. So shush! Parasite! Woman. People win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Adventure line time. Right. Yes. I've got a solution. This Adventure time, line. To make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay, I know through one of these like little entryways there is a reference to Payday 2. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. I know that. Onward I know Stanley, this for a fact. To Destiny. There is a reference to Payday nope. 2 somewhere. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the I story of no destination exactly, but I know still a there. story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental sub... It's 007. I found him. Objective construct. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Uh, I can't meet well, 007, I'd like to apologize. damn. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten uh, the Ah, here mood. we go, the music. Look, there it is, I found it. There it is, I found the mask, baby. I found the mask. I knew it was there. I knew I could find it. You're welcome. You've seen, you've seen the Easter egg. You've seen the Easter egg. There you go. You're welcome. Praise me. Praise me, YouTube. I know these two aren't. Praise me, YouTube. Praise me. Anyways. the music go back and look at that fern stanley this fern will be very important later in the story make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully you won't want to miss anything okay got it wait what we're back at the office no, 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 line, 
You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story is... Oh, no, no, no. Hey, look, no, it's the mind a... control Headline. facility. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. And we're back. It's that simple, baby. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't kind we of. make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Can I get a pony? Is that possible, oh, narrator? No, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines I'm or not, monitor not rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Not 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 looking at it. Doing as you ask, narrator. I'm not looking at it. Me and you are buds if you're gonna get me that pony. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere you know, no, at the place where we're trying to go, the there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Destiny. Oh. Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Aren't we all confused? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer to stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... I'm not, I'm not going all the way to the elevator, thank you. I, I don't feel like it. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? I need to find Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. To get that last one. It's something about a fireplace. I only know of two fireplaces in this entire game. And I'm not going to ask chat because that would be cheating. And I'm not a bitch. So, I have to think and remember how to get to the fireplace. I think it's the corrupted ending. I think. Alright, whatever. Perhaps he.
It takes a lot Wait, of humility. Wait, no. Fuck, I wasn't supposed to pick him up. Damn it. Fuck, okay, well. What haven't I done with the bucket? If, if I already pick it up, I, I might as well check what I haven't done with the bucket. Uh, let's see. Gone upstairs. Did both those. Did the escape. Let's see what else. Went right. Unplugged the phone. Used the phone. Jumped onto the pathway. Walked that for a bit. Uh, what else? Uh, went down the elevator thing. Had the intervention. Couldn't destroy the bucket. Yeah, I died with the bucket. I did. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. What is it? What am I forgetting? I feel like there's something I should be remembering. I just can't. I know I've done all the endings before. I just can't remember what I'm missing. What is it? What is it? Come on. I can't do the two doors. Just the one. Uh, what am I missing? I'm pretty sure I got everything, didn't I? Have I already gotten all the endings? Have I? No, I couldn't have gotten all the endings. Come on, there's got to be more of them. I'm actually looking up how many endings there are on my phone, because I feel like it. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Number of Endings. Let's see. 42. It's telling me 42. Oh, no, wait. Uh, no, wait. This one's telling me 20 now. This is weird. So, 19 endings to find in the Stanley Parable with Ultra Deluxe including an additional 24. Okay, the, the DLC, the, not DLC. Ultra Deluxe has 24 additional endings included with the 19 endings in the regular Stanley Parable. Okay. So that's what I'm missing, apparently. Huh. I'm not going to look up how to get the endings, because I want to do these on my own. But I am wondering where and how. I gotta think about this, because I've done all the endings in the original, and I've done the broom closet in the last one, where it was saying that the broom closet was jealous of my bucket. So now I've just gotta think, because I know for a fact that there is something. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the normal path and just the run into things and see so what happens. Magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. This is a different hallway. Something's wrong. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna do the normal ending Stanley and I'm just going to try to break the game as much as possible. And entered the door on his left. I also to find it near a fireplace. Where is it? God damn it. Beware the f the false prophet. Collecting is sexy. <laughs> Trust the completionist instinct. Actually, I didn't read this one right here. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This invest th th this investigation, this room, they feel pointless to be honest.
Red room. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. God, my mouse sucks. Okay, I know this old glitch from the game. If I just stepping in, yeah, it. there we go. I broke it, and this door is cracked now. I don't know how I did that, but I fixed it now, I guess. Okay, I remember doing this in the original to get into the bathroom. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. If you actually enjoy my content, please do follow. I'm not going to force you to. If you want to, go ahead. If you don't, that's totally fine. If you, if you just watch me to watch me, that's fine. You don't have to follow. If you want to follow, that's up to you. I'm not going to say yes, I'm not going to say no. D do what you want. It's not, it's not up to me. If you want to, go ahead. If you find me funny, thank you. That, that's very nice. But I'm not going to say, oh yeah, no, I will take as many free follows as possible. I, I want people to actually enjoy my stuff if they follow me. That's just, you know. If you don't enjoy my stuff, that's totally fine. My, my sense of humor isn't for everyone. But, you know, if you do, you're welcome to follow. If you don't want to follow, but just, you know, want to watch anyways, that's totally fine too. Yeah, just, just do what you feel like. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to force anyone to do anything. It's totally fine. That, that goes to the YouTube people who watch me on YouTube, too. Because I know there are. I, I, get, I, I do know, because I, I look at the analytics for my YouTube videos, just because I get bored sometimes. And I just want to see how they're doing. Somehow, the uh, final episode of my Amori stream has the most views. And I'm just not questioning it. So, you know. It, it, it's just whatever. If you like my stuff, follow, subscribe, etc. If you don't, that's totally fine. Okay. You, 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 I mean, if you don't... what Do you want me to say yes? If you want me to say yes, then just say... Th the line. The fucking line. I found the line. Da 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 Thank you very much for following. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. This is different. Void door. You are now leaving. Okay. Escape pod bay. Elevator never works. Fucking trash company. I'm joking, stop crying. I'm not crying. You can't prove anything. I'm a big boy. I I put my I put my big boy pants on, thank you. I'm not a I'm not a boohoo little baby man. Yeah, thank you. Thumbs up. Thank you. I'm glad I, I I'm thankful that you understand. I'm no boohoo little baby man. I'm a man. And now I'm just imagining the SpongeBob meme where he's holding up the razor. Don't question me. Have I made it? Am I free? Hello? Oh. Still going. Still going. Okay. Oh, there we go. Look at that. An escape pod. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, I'm putting the bucket in. <laughs> Shh. No need to talk. Oh man, 
man, this is the most emotional this game has gotten so far. Goodbye, Bucket. Goodbye. Oh no, the Bucket actually isn't here anymore! The Bucket's actually gone! Ah! Oh, the Bucket's gone! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The bucket's actually gone. He left. I freed him. I swear to god, if the broom closet took the bucket, I'm gonna be pissed. I used to be such good friends with Coming to closet. a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait, can I now take the escape pod and go find the bucket and we can have a peaceful, loving life? Okay, I think we all... Yes, there we go. What the fuck? Void door? No? Okay. What? Everything just blinked black for a second. That was weird. Oh, it did it again. Okay, don't rub your head against that door. That That's not very healthy, apparently. I'm going to find my love, the bucket. I will forever love the bucket. It is my only confidant. I must find him. Her. It. Bucket. It's a bucket, it chooses what it wants to... The new content door? Why is, th why is the new, new content door back? That's weird. Can I unplug this? No, I can't. That would've been funny. Let's go find the bucket. We're going to save the bucket. going to save the bucket chat. We're going for the bucket. Here we go. Where are you, bucket? We're coming for you. Floors of stairs. Fucking sucks. You know, cats are all demons. Like, if, if your cat's not helping, that's probably for the best. You can't prove me wrong. All cats have an intense will to kill people. Nothing can change my mind on that. Age is no difference when it comes to cats. They will all try to kill you. Show any weakness and they will murder you. Establish dominance. Beat up the biggest cat in the yard. Ah. Phone. Hi Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. Stanley gets bitches? Stan Stanley's not bitchless, apparently. I wonder. 
replacement bucket. <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the same, chat. It's not the same. It's just not the same. I, c I can't in all rightfulness pick up this bucket. It's just, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's a replacement bucket. It's not the same bucket. It's just... <sighs> I just, I, I can't. This isn't the same bucket. It, it's just, it's not. I can't rightfully take, it's not the same bucket. I sent the other bucket to freedom, and I just can't follow, apparently. It, it's just what it is. This isn't. This isn't my bucket. Oh, don't you hold your hands and face palm at me? Excuse me for being sentimental towards my bucket. What do you want me to say, huh? What? What is it? Such a big deal that I don't care for this new bucket, huh? Is that it? Huh? Is that it? Huh? You, you just don't want to? You just don't want to? Is that it? You don't? Huh? Come on, come on, say it, say it. You, you don't like sentimentality. Is that it? It's just an. Oh, don't you? It is not just an object. You piece of shit. That bucket was special. You don't understand, you bastards. You never understood my love for the bucket. You're so despicable. God, you're fucking. You know what? Just because of that, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rehashing an old fucking. I'm and rehashing an ad glitch. This one too, you dolt. Oh, you shut up. I'm rehashing an old glitch. Sam I know. The I remember this. His chest and entered the door on his left. I don't care if you didn't do anything. It's what you didn't say. You didn't defend the bucket. It's your fault, too. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Abstaining from things does not grant you freedom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. God fucking damn it. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. I... I only looked here. I only looked right here. And I didn't go five steps forward. God damn it. God, I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot! God damn it! And there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. Oh, yeah, facts. This is doing something just for the sake facts. of Facts. I know. I know when I'm an so idiot. Many Thank you. you expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward. And we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. I'm gonna go do an old fucking glitch now, because I'm just... Fuck, I... I was acting all mad before, and now I, I can't even pull that emotion. God, I feel just so dumb. I just, I feel so dumb, god damn it. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Alright, I remember this. Just an object, yeah, okay, got it, fuck you, that, yada yada, fuck you, the it's not just an object. On an enormous room now, packed with here, television here I go, I, I remember this what old glitch. What horrible secret did this place hold? This back Stanley and the bucket both the wondered the Stanley to themselves. There we go. But 
Just as Stanley was about to proceed further into the mind control facility, he tripped and fell over the railing and into the dark void below. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the bucket, which safely cushioned his fall. Oh, thank you, bucket. Now, what to do next, Stanley wondered. I didn't Stanley realize they the actually made this an ending. could find no way out of this enormous pit. This, this and so eventually, they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down here. Okay. So they set up a little couch and relaxed. Oh. It really wasn't so bad down oh, here. That. A bit cold, perhaps. I've got a couch now. After some time had gone what by, the they installed a few shelves as well. And a sort of How kitchenette that was useful. How did we get all this? Bucket was craving paninia. How did we get all this? But it wasn't until the rugs and the standing what the lamps fuck? came in what that it really fuck? started to feel like a home. Where's all this he coming from? After some time, Stanley realized How, where did we get flooring? Since he had even thought of the mind control. How do we have working electricity? He'd never gotten to fully explore what was up there. Never been able to unearth the many mysteries of the mind control facility. This lack of closure began to eat at him. Soon he was dwelling on his regrets, and the state of their home slowly decayed as Stanley became withdrawn Wait, what? and neglected the cleaning. What? It unsettled the bucket deeply. Stanley wasn't so, usually where, like Where'd this. the boxes? We the didn't even have boxes! The bucket out to him again and again, but to no avail. All Stanley could think about, all he could talk about, was going back, doing it over again, staying on the path. It was a mistake to leave the path. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I need to do what the narrator says. I need to see the true ending. This made no sense at all to the bucket, which was simply trying to live its life down here as comfortably as possible. Yet Stanley was unconsolable. This isn't an ending. This is just a hole in the ground. Um. The bucket sighed. True, it wasn't an ending. But it's where we happen to be. And maybe, possibly, if we accept the reality of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. It's what the bucket was counting on. The two of them waited for a very long time. And I guess it became an ending. All right. Also, where'd all the balloons go? There were balloons last time. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... It's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Yeah? Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Not really. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? Oh, the memory zone. I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. I... alright. Sure. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. Like, maybe in the span of an hour and a half. Okay, so we're here now. Audience award. Hold on. The British Academy of Film and Television Arts. The last of <laughs> the last of us. <laughs> it's kind of funny. They're petty about that award, apparently. Imagine the last of us winning any awards that they totally didn't deserve. That that could never happen, right? Right. Anyways, I guess we're going down here. Hey look, it's a phone. Where's that cord going? How did you get that under there? <sighs> Here's where it all began. Oh right. The first um, collectible. Back then we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? Uh, we were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, these, Stanley. These still bother me. This still bothers me. I don't like this. And here was a second Stan Marine. I'll be honest, 
Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. Okay. But you continue no. to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. I was about to just... okay. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Oh, Can you fuck. remember? Oh, no, I can't. I can't remember. Um... It's not like I can go back in the stream either. Um, crap. Um, the first one was the one that was just given to me. The second was under the stairs. I feel like the third would be the boss's bathroom. Then, oh, I feel like I feel like it's the boss's bathroom. It's gotta be. Hey, that's exactly right. Hey it was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third yeah, one. Yeah, baby. It up, and then after that, you had three of them. Uh, I'm glad that's right. these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. I might be an idiot, but I'm not stupid, thank you. I don't need you to Let's check see. back. What came next? Oh, yes, we found a figly in this pink room. No, oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Why pink room? This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was by the red and blue doors. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate Wait. the occasion. Wait, what? Enjoy. Oh god, it's a fucking PowerPoint! <laughs> it's so low quality, too. <laughs> it's so low quality to see you know, this this isn't even the stream it's just this low quality it's so low quality and poorly made <laughs> yeah i i feel like i am probably losing brain cells as well but hey it, it's funny and i'll give it that Directed by, edited by, and music by Best Boy, the narrator. No, strike that name for the record. Uh, Best Boy happens to be Bucket. Just so you know. Copyright claim, the narrator. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? <laughs> I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. You spent eight minutes on the video. <laughs> He spent eight minutes on that video. Okay, now they're both the same. I, I felt like there would be some weird, like, little reference or something there. Yeah, and the one that was the most obvious that I thought was second, over here. Then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here behind the boss's office. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because yeah, same it was here. the one that happened more recently than all the others. No, but not can for that truly reason. say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, All which right, it was uh, exactly. Go, go to sleep, I guess. Goodbye. Yes. I I am about to end this stream in like six minutes, anyways. So. And then oh. there was no more. Okay, then. Because we've caught up that, to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move weird. onward into the future. Goodbye, memories. Why? Why? The, oh, okay. Bye. Um. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Oh. Stop the loading screen. Oh, okay. Isn't there some way we can stay oh. here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll oh. do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how right. that feels. Um, I guess we're going back. Okay, yes. 
the back of the boss's office. I remember this. I must huh. say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. Okay. The narrator's become addicted. I. I. I and here's do we have I to make an intervention? Video. Don't you remember the video? I, I think we, we need an intervention. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that video. <laughs> I need a, I need a second. That actually got me. It was in the back of my mind that oh god, he's gonna play the video again. But then it just popped up and was just done like that. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll give him that one. That one was that one was funny. That was, that was funny. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. You know, I can't really say much in, you know, offense to collectibles, as it would happen, I just so happen to, uh, be a bit of a minor completionist when it comes to certain games, so I kind of fall into the whole, oh yeah, no, it's, 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 it's I'm, I'm stuck figure. doing it, I'm Don't stuck you doing it, basically. Yes, I remember right, it goodbye too. to the you too. The is truly a, a wonderful one. thing. Thank Why you for coming to the stream. Why choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it, the very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? All right. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. All right, then, I guess. Here we go. Oh, yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. And before everything else, there was your office. Yep. Bye. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Oh. Okay, then. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office, and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is this actually gonna 
do anything at the end if I go through this? I don't think so, but I got, I got a minute. I'll, I'll go How ahead and wonderful. do this. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. Okay, now I get the feeling that it's not going to change. So, yeah. That was very nice. I feel like that was the creator of the game's sentiment towards Stanley and such. I, I find that very sweet, and I like that. I, I like it when creators put that kind of stuff in their game. It, it's always nice to hear what creators think of their characters and, like, the ideas behind them. I know it wasn't exactly what he meant, that he made Stanley because he was lonely. It, it, he might have. I don't know. He might have been lonely and just wanted to make Stanley because of that. Who knows? But it's always nice to see the creators of the game give their characters a bit more, you know, feel to them for how they feel towards the creator. It's always nice. So, yeah. I feel like that's all for tonight. Uh, if you'll excuse me while I do this, then go over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This was a good one. Uh, I actually got people to watch me this time, and I actually got to interact with people. This one might be one of my good, good streams, too. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. I myself enjoyed. Uh, I usually do enjoy playing games. It's always nice to have people enjoy watching me, because I, I like to spread entertainment. It, it's what I used to enjoy doing. It's what I want to spread forward. That, that That's my motivation. I want to make people... I want to. I want to have people enjoy stuff, because you know that's important. Joy is an important thing for people. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed, etc. and so forth. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth. So I'm. I'm just gonna shut up now. If you like my stuff, go ahead and subscribe or follow, whichever you want to say. And yeah, that'll be all until next time. Goodbye.